center. And that'll get down for a base hit. Batting fourth, second baseman, Christopher Bush. Digging in, Christopher Bush. He'll get to take his first cuts here. The three and one pitch. Finds the zone to fill the count three and two. With two strikes now and a runner at first, do you go for the strikeout or are you still looking for the double play ball? Well, Matt, I think a lot of that depends on the type of pitcher that you are. If you're a power pitcher, you can go ahead and ride a fastball up in the zone, but if you're a guy that induces a lot of ground balls with a sinker, I think you have to stick with that plan. He got him, and it'll probably take a base hit now to get that runner across from third. Well, their chances of pushing across a run took a pretty good hit after that strikeout. It's so much tougher to score a guy from third with two outs instead of one. Basically, you need a hit, or you need to get lucky with a wild pitch or a pass ball. Runners at the corners, two men out. In front of the changeup, and he can't keep it fair. Two strikes on him now. To two balls and two strikes now. That's low, so a good eye there as he works the count back full. Full count with two outs now, so if he could put the ball in the gap somewhere, he could have a good shot of driving in a run because the run at first will be in motion. Here's the 3-2. Soft liner towards center. In there, base hit, and that ought to get the run in from third. Boy, talking about picking your teammate up after that strikeout, he wrote big, big, and I mean big, two-hard RBI single. Yeah, way to come through for your team. When you take the donut off your bat right there, you're trying to pick up your teammate. He had the right game plan, didn't come outside it, stayed through the baseball and was able to come through. Into the box, Chad Weston. Changeup, called a strike, and he comes back even at two and two. Strike out there as they'll leave a couple of runners on base, and after a good start to the inning, they can't capitalize any further. So it's a run on three hits, no errors, and two men left on. Second inning coming up from Progressive Field. The U.S. team leads it one to nothing. Leading off the inning, Gil Espinoza, and they'll need him to get something going here. Here's the one and one pitch up around the face. Here now the two two. Q shot here out towards short. Oh, but a super diving catch takes away a hit. That ball wasn't hit all that hard, but it had base hit written all over it until the infielder made a nice diving stab on that one. Into the box now. Brian Chang. He takes strike three called on the fastball. Couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. Batting eight. Right fielder. Now in the box, Scott Brock. One and two now. is two and two two out nobody on a 
Swing and a miss as he chased with two strikes. And that will retire the side. Into the box now, Carlos Castro. The 1 1 home. Misses, ball two. And it's fouled away. Here now the 2-2. Two -two. Doesn't get the zone. Can't Count the full now. And he oh, takes boy. ball four. Lead off man's aboard here to begin the home half of the second. That is not the way he wanted to start off this that half inning. Me. It's one thing that to walk hurt. the leadoff hitter, but it's even one more burn. painful when the leadoff hitter is an absolute burner and he can really wreak some havoc on the bases. Now with the play, Patrick Washburn. Castro gets his lead at first, nobody out. Lays off two and two now. Two two is swung on and missed strike three. OK here's a defense for the away team and the guy patrolling center know. field today. I can't emphasize this enough. If you want a good ball club you better be strong up the middle center field being that main component with catcher shortstop and second base. This guy takes tremendous routes to the ball strong and accurate arm and just a leader on the field. Stepping in, Daniel Astalaza. First swings for him in this one with a runner still at first and one gone. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. And there's a base hit on the line. Castro is on his way home. He will score. And they now lead by two. And these guys are showing some consistency in the early going here. Got a run in the first inning, and this double ensures that they'll at least get a run here in the second. In now, Guy Hagen. On drive, base hit to right. Astalaza rounds third and is digging for the plate. The tag, and he's in there as they extend their lead to three. Everything done right, Dan, on both sides, the defensive side and the offensive side to send him. And the outfielder made a strong, accurate throw, but that runner was safe. No doubt about it. That's one of those where you got to be aggressive as a third base coach. You know the outfielder has a strong throwing arm. You're taking your a lot of things. You're trying to get through a decision to send a good send in a close play, but it all worked out way late and he's in there easily at second. Ready with the two and two swing and a miss strike three the throw. It skips in and he's safe close play but he's in there. So a good job there of taking third unannounced but meanwhile the strikeout means two men are gone now. Stepping in now, Andre Booker. Now one hit foul over to the right side as the count moves to one and two. The one two. Again, he sends it out of play. Pitch is piling up 44, and he's not clear of the second yet. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Brock will reach out with one hand to make the catch on the move, and that ends the inning. So it's two runs on two hits no errors and a runner left will go now to the top of the third the USA leads it three to nothing. 
Robbie Hennessy takes the mound as he's been called upon to pitch. Number one, Robbie Hennessy. Leading off the inning, Ray Hernandez, as they'll look to get something going here and even this game up. The wind up and the 0 2 pitch. And a wasted pitch there, one and two. I know you have to protect the strike zone when you get the count to two strikes, but on an 0 2 pitch that misses by that much, it's pretty easy for a hitter not to swing at that one. Still one and two. The one two. And another foul ball. Swing and a miss as he couldn't connect on the two seamer and that's out number one. It's always nice to keep a guy that has good wheels off base and that's just what they did right there. Big strikeout keep that guy off the base path. Standing in now John Potter. It's one and two. One two is looked at for ball number two. Still even at two and two. Hit on the ground down the first baseline, and he'll step on first for the out. Three unassisted. The batter number 24, second baseman, Victor Zavala. Standing in, Victor Zavala. He flew out in his last at bat. Eight. And that's taken for a cold strike two. It's one and two. Hit to short. Astalaza comes up with it. And the throw just does beat him at the bag, so the side is retired. You're Dana Sedenquist is ready, Number and he'll take the ball from the, the manager. Number 33, Dana Sedenquist. So here's the cleanup hitter, Christopher Bush. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. And this ball runs away for ball two, two and one. Now the 2 1 pitch. This is on the ground over to first. Reyes ranges to his right, and he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. Third baseman, number five, Dave Kaufman. Striding into the box, Dave Kaufman. He came through with an RBI single in his last at bat. Bases are empty, one man out. Fouled away. Two and two count. Here it comes. Oh, and you can tell he wanted to hold off, but he swings through the inside pitch anyway, and he becomes out number two. Anytime a pitcher locates a fastball on the inside corner, it's going to be a tough pitch to hit. That one was spot on, and he had no answer for it.
Into the box now, Chad Weston. And there's a pitch that just misses the inside corner. The 3 1. Swung on, and this ball is hammered. Forget about it. Onto the home run porch and gone. So a solo shot down the line in left as they move on top four to nothing. This is the first home run of the game, but the bats are definitely alive for both teams tonight. There have been a ton of hits already. These pitchers might want to duck and cover if things continue this way. In now, Carlos Castro. And they come inside with the fastball, but it misses here, and it's back to two and two. Hit on the ground out to short. Espinoza is there. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. But add on one more as the solo shot stretches their lead even further. We played three full. It's now a four-nothing ball game. Ryan Anders gets the call from the bullpen to pitch in relief. Number 10, Ryan Anders. Coming to the plate now, Josh Hughes. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Outside, 2 and 1. And he can't catch the corner here, so he's behind three and one. Well, this has been a good job to work the count from 0 and 1 to 3 and 1, and now he's really in the driver's seat to see a heater that he can do something with. Now, a pitch runs in on him here, and all he can do is flare one fouled off to the right side. He was able to foul that one off, but you could tell he was definitely late. That breaking ball, the pitch before that heater right there, definitely threw his timing off. Castro is right there and he's got it for out number one. The batter, third baseman, Phil. Settling Lopez. in now, Phil Lopez. He reached on a single in his first truck. Yeah. A ball and two strikes now. Love that pitch right there and he executed it perfectly. A big arcing curveball that starts at the batter's hip and then just bends onto the inside corner. A lot of hitters have a tendency to open up way too early and they can't make good contact on that pitch. And that is swung on and missed. He's down on strikes and the first two are retired here to begin now inning number four. Well you got to love a live young arm. He's got an electric fastball and if he can learn to harness that and work in his solid secondary stuff he's going to have a really nice career on the mound. Not everyone is gifted with a fastball like that. Into the box, Duncan Reyes. Can't get him to chase. It's one and two. Bases are empty here with two men out. Popped him up. And that's in there. Base hit. Hey, they don't all have to be beautiful. They just have to be base hits. And that's exactly what that was. Soft liner into left field. Nice job. Standing in now, 
Gil Espinoza in the dirt here. And it's not in time as he's in well ahead of the throw. And you can forget about the double play now as the runner moves up to second base. Well, this inning was looking routine, and then with one base hit and a wild pitch later, things are looking a lot different. Now a base hit scores a run, got to reset on the mound and make some good pitches here. Reyes stands at second with two gone. He stays alive, still two and two. Set. Here's the 2 2. Now look out as that pitch sends him tumbling to the ground. Some pitchers fall into the trap of giving in on 3 and 2 because they don't want to walk the guy. But with the base open, it's not the end of the world if you do. You still need to make a quality pitch. Hit down the third baseline. But this will get foul, so they'll do it again. Three and two. You could tell he was guessing right there, and he certainly wasn't guessing change up. That pitch was in his wheelhouse, and he was late. Heading out towards shallow right. Weston waits on it, makes the catch, and that'll retire the side. Jason Wells enters from the bullpen to do the pitching. Number two, Jason Wells. Into the box now, Patrick Washburn. Even though they're up by a boatload early on in this one, you can't get complacent and get lazy. They got to keep the gas pedal down because this team that they're playing can strike and score a lot of runs too. The 1-1 home takes a pitch for strike number two. Great spot with that pitch down and away. He'll be fine coming out of the bullpen in this one if he can keep hitting that spot. Nope. That misses and we're even at two and two. Fastball swung on and missed for the first down. Now batting. Shortstop. Now with the plate, Daniel Ostalaza. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at bat with another big hit right here. Here's the 3 2. Had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. 3 2 one more time. Count remains full. And he could only battle for so long as he's finally set down here after an eight pitch at bat. No problems for him on the mound since he's come out of the pen to start this inning. That's back to back K's and he's making it look pretty easy. This has the makings of a good outing so far. So the batting order turns over now and set to go Guy Hagan. First two men in the inning have both gone down via the punch out so we'll see if he can fare any better. Slow bouncer to the right side but that one rolls foul. Swing and a ball lifted in the air toward the line and right in there the base hit. And he'll make it to second base now with two gone. Well, fans love a lot of offense, and that's what they're getting here, Dan. You said it, Matty. That's 10 hits in this game between the two teams already. Got to tell you, as a pitcher, this is a little painful for me to watch. Stepping in now, Theodore Shockley down the left field line and deep and this will wind up a foul ball ready now with the payoff pitch 
A swing, and he pulls it down the line and deep. And that's going to wind up hooking just a bit foul, so a missed opportunity there. Payoff pitch one more time. He turns on it and sends it deep down the line and right. Mm, definitely had the distance, but it winds up a foul ball. Full count still. Lopez into foul territory. And no one will get this one. Another full count pitch home. Now batter. Designated hitter, Andre Booker. Digging in the switch hitter, Andre Booker. Two men on, two away here in the fourth. Now the one and one pitch. Lifted into the air out towards center field. Hernandez moves over, makes the catch, and that'll retire the side. Alex Littleton will take the ball now as the new pitcher. Number 15, Alex Littleton. Riding in, Brian Chang. He got called out on strikes his last time through. This one doesn't look good so far. Down by a boatload as we enter the middle innings. It's about time they get something going. And the last thing you want to do is fall behind where you have to score a bunch in the eighth and ninth inning. On a gift of a swing there. It's three and two now. Hey, I can understand this batter's frustration right here. He's trying to be aggressive and get something going for his team. They are getting shut out in the fifth inning, but that's exactly why they're getting shut out. You need to keyhole and stay on the attack and make this pitcher come in the middle of the plate. Count still full, three and two. Another full count pitch home. And a good eye here as he takes ball four, and it's a base on balls to lead off the fifth inning. Well, he's a youngster. You can see he's a little nervous out there. Some people call it butterflies, but to him it probably feels like pterodactyls are flying around in his gut. Going to be interesting to see if he can settle down here. Ready for another chance. Scott Brock. Chang aboard here at first with nobody out. Takes one off the inside corner for ball two. That's a good pitch to lay off right there, that cutter inside. And that is a real tough pitch for hitters to lay off of. And a lot of times, if you do swing at that cutter in, you're going to end up with some firewood in a broken bat. Swung on and missed, and it's even at two and two. And you wonder about the control now as he misses high with a slider. Now the three and two pitch. High in the air down the right field line. But this will wind up being a foul ball. Grounded back up the middle. Fielded cleanly. On to first, and how about that double play? Wow! Made him throw a lot of pitches in that at bat, but he'll take the double play as a trade off for sure. So, striding forward now, Ray Hernandez. Two out, nobody on. The one two. He is swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. Yeah. 
Richard Yabuta is ready and he'll take the ball from the manager. Number 54, Richard Yabuta. Digging in once again, Christopher Bush. It's been an 0 for 2 effort for him to this point. The 1 2 is taken for ball two. And now a left hander will start to get ready in the bullpen. Here's the pitch on two and two. And a neck high fastball that time. Looked like he tried to elevate a fastball on that two two pitch there but kind of overdid it with a pitch that high. It's pretty easy to lay off if you're the hitter. This is ball four now. It's a leadoff walk to get the home half of the fifth underway. Third baseman, number five, Dave Kaufman. Ready for another shot now, Dave Kaufman. A runner at first with no outs here. Line towards center field. Hernandez is right there, one down. Now batting, right fielder, Chad Weston. So coming to the plate, Chad Weston. The last at bat, Matty D. We heard this guy's a good fastball hitter. He got a fastball and didn't miss it. We'll see if they pitch him a little bit differently this time and mix in some off speed pitches. Fastball is taken for a strike and he runs it full three and two. Runner goes for second. A bouncer up the middle. Scooped up. Throw gets him. Two down. Center fielder, number five. Carlos. Stepping into the box, Carlos Castro. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Bush at second with two down. This one is fouled away up to the concourse area. The ball and two strikes, here it is. I ran that one in on him a bit as this time it's tapped foul at home plate. Breaking ball, and he gets him to chase it in the dirt. Up with it, Kang, and that ends the inning. So they pick up no runs, no hits, no errors, and a runner left on. Five innings complete, the U.S. team on top, four to nothing. Humberto Quinones takes over to start the sixth inning on the mound. Number 32, Humberto Quinones. Now back to the top of the lineup, stepping in, John Potter. And Dan, he and his fellow top of the order hitters haven't really offered much help for this lineup so far. No, your one, two, three guys are the ones you look to to generate a lot of action. And they just haven't been up to the task so far in this one. Still time for them to turn it around, though. We'll see if it happens. Hey. One and two now. Liner towards second. Leaps high as he makes the catch. Well done. It's really important to be a second baseman and have some athletic ability. And how about this right here? He goes up high to snag this line drive that was definitely headed to the outfield for a base hit. Into the box now. Victor Zavala. A swing and a ground ball to third. 
Throw on to first, two gone. The left fielder, number 24, Josh Hughes. At the plate, Josh Hughes. A little late on the fastball, but he's able to spoil that one off, and he'll get another chance. Bases are empty here with two men out. Still a ball and two strikes. Two and two. This offense is going to have to find a way to get going. It's happened in the past. Every team goes through it where everyone seems to fall into a funk at the same time. Everyone needs to relax and not try and be the hero and just start getting the leadoff guy on. Hit hard to short. Backhanded. Throw not in time as he's able to leg it out. Boy, D roll, this looked like one of those easy one, two, three innings. Next thing you know, a little swinging ground ball and a two out infield base hit. Yeah, it's never too late, and you never know when a rally's going to start. It seemed innocent early on. He got two quick outs, but now we see traffic at first. Into the box, Phil Lopez. Change up gets him out in front for strike two. And a fastball swung on and missed, and his side is retired. Your Michael Batista later. enters to do Not the pitching in the bottom of the team. sixth. Number 28, Michael Batista. Stepping into the box, Patrick Washburn. He's hoping to avoid the hat trick. He struck out in each of his first two plate appearances so far. The 3 1. High pop up. Chang is in his tracks now. One down. Now batting. Stepping up now, Daniel Astalaza. He doubled earlier in the game, one for two to this point. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. No offer on that one, two balls and a strike. Now the 2 1 pitch. Hit out towards second. And a good effort on the dive that time, but this will get by him for a base hit. Nice execution right there, Dan. Kept his front no, shoulder no. in, kept no, his hands inside the baseball, and no. ripped the base hit up the Thank middle. You. And if you're a pitcher right there, you can't get discouraged. Sometimes, even when you make a good pitch, the ball is going to find a hole somewhere. That one right up the middle. Snap move over to first, and he'll get back in safely. Astalaza, the runner at first with one gun in the inning. Standing in now, Guy Hagen, chopped weakly to the left. There's one, and nearly a double play. It was closer than I thought it would be, and the inning will continue. Now batting, first baseman, Theodore. At the plate, Theodore Shockley. He enters this at bat, one for two with a walk. Two two tries to go the other way as this is hit in the air down the right field line and that'll get down for a base hit Hagan rounds the corner and is headed home is in time and he's cut 
down at the plate as they team up to gun him down. So no runs on two hits, no errors, and one man left on. Seventh inning coming up. The U.S. team leads it four to nothing. Back here in Cleveland, it's on to the seventh inning now, but before the inning gets started, let's fill you in on what you may have missed. It's our game summary to this point. Your Vance Jones is now on to pitch from the bullpen seven. now to start inning number, number seven. Vance Jones. Mario Chassin is up off the bench as he'll pinch hit here to start Mario inning number seven. Chassin. A ball and two strikes now. Skied into very shallow right. Weston moves over. He's got it one away. Now back. Arnold Suzuki will move into the on deck circle now to try to get something started here with one gone in the inning. Suzuki. One out, nobody on. And the fastball easy to lay off that time, two and two. Sent on the ground out to second. And there are two away now. How about it? Captain Brian Chang. Digging in, Brian Chang as the switch hitter will take his cuts left handed here. Two out, nobody on. Jones. Right hander standing just under six foot at 5'11. He throws a four seam fastball, a curve, a splitter, a cutter, and a changeup. Grounded up the first baseline, but this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. The one two is swung on and missed, strike three. Mario Chassin will stay in the ball game as he'll take over at first base. Mario Chassin. Arnold Suzuki will stay in the ball game as a new shortstop. Suzuki. Hugh Hernandez gets the call from the pen Number to take 30. over on the mound and start the home seven. Hernandez. William Colbert is up off the bench as he'll be Number asked to get something started William in the home half Colbert. of the seven. Misses, he couldn't connect on the two seamer, and that's out number one. Well, batter, number Boone ahead. Donovan will move into the on deck circle now to try to get something started here with one gone in the inning. Boone Donovan. Bases are empty, one man out. The next 0 2. A bouncer to the left side. In time to first, and there are two away. Third baseman, number five, 
Johan Maldonado will get the call to pinch hit here as we'll see what he can do with two out and the base is empty. Johan Maldonado. to hold back on the curveball in the dirt. It's full now, three and two. Hey, I know the idea is to try to get the guy to swing on a 2-2 pitch, right? But that one was so low, I don't know anybody that would have swung at that pitch. And he lays off, ball four. So he comes right off the bench and works the walk. Usually easier said than done. Well, he gives up the walk, but that was a really good pitch. Might have been just out of the zone, but not by much. A lot of guys would have gone fishing for that pitch, so sometimes the hitter just outlasts him. Zane Bartley will look for some two-out magic here as he'll pinch here with two gone and a runner at first. Bartley. And he'll step off and fire to the bag. And he just manages to get his hand in. And another snap throw to the bag, keeping particularly close tabs on him. Pulls this one into the air out into right field. Brock has it in his tracks. He makes the play, and that'll end the inning. Donovan will stay in the ball game now as he comes on to play second here. Boone Donovan. Johan Maldonado is going to go ahead and stay in the ball game and play third down. Zane Bartley will stick around as he'll take over in right field. Wesley Levin has been summoned from the Number bullpen 15. as he'll do so to start the Wesley eight. Levin. Scott Brock will be the first one to greet him as he'll have to turn around and bat from the right side of the plate here. Starting to run out of time. They haven't been able to score any runs as we're moving late into this one. A perfect time for this leadoff. It's a high fly ball headed for the left field corner. If it stays fair, it's gone. And that nearly would have gotten him on the board. Instead, it's a long foul ball. Oh, and they pull the string on a good change up there as he swings and misses, and he's set down on strikes for the second time tonight. Boy, there's the perfect pitch right there, the straight changeup. He hadn't used it yet in this at-bat, and what does he do? He uses it, pulls the string, and gets the big strikeout. In now, Ray Hernandez. And he misses low here, so the count goes to 3-1. and one. One thing that could nag at you as a pitcher is having to work really hard to get a guy that you think you should be able to cruise right through. He's not known for his offensive prowess, but he's putting together a real nice at bat here. Fastball in there, three and two. One out, nobody on. And he takes ball four, so he's on. And as you know, that often means the steal could be in order here. The batter, designated hitter. Jason Armstrong will be summoned off the bench here as he'll pinch hit with a runner at first and one gone in the inning. Hit well on the ground to first. The second for one. On to first, it's a double play. As their woes continue, the inning is over. Nothing across here this half. Home half of the eighth straight ahead. The USA leads it four to nothing. Adrian Cortez is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Number three, Adrian Cortez. Stepping up to the plate, Carlos Castro, 0 for 2 with a walk for him so far. And 
And that one just missed outside. And he missed again, high and away this time. Three and one. Patrick Washburn is on deck. The three one. And this is taken here for ball four. So the leadoff man's on base to kick off the home eight. Now batting, catcher, Patrick. Ready now, Patrick Washburn. 0 for three with a couple of strikeouts for him to this point in the ball game. Set. Here comes the 1-1. One, one. Popped him up. And he'll stay with it here as he puts the squeeze on it for route number one. Now back. Digging in and looking for more. Daniel Hostalaza. He singled his last time up. The 3-1. Takes a strike for a full count now, three and two. I think it's a real possibility that they put that run on first in motion. That would help them stay out of that double play that would end the inning, but that's also kind of risky at the same time. And a fastball swung on and missed as they set him down for the second time here tonight. In a double play situation, you kind of expect most pitches to be down in the zone, hoping for a ground ball. So that was an interesting pitch selection to go up in the zone. I think he caught him off guard a little bit. Robbie Duvall will look for some two-out magic here as he'll pinch hit with two gone and a runner at first. Robbie Duvall. Throw over to the bag, runners back. Strike three called as he can't get the bat off his shoulders. Side retired. And welcome back to our MLB Network broadcast from Progressive Field in Cleveland, Ohio. Robbie Duvall will stay in the ball game now and take over in left field. Adrian Pena is going to pinch hit here to lead off the ninth and with his club already well down he'll just need to try and get on base here down the first baseline but this will get foul it's a ball and two strikes ready on one and two and the change up is way low that time. Hit softly on the ground to third. Throw on to first for the out, and that is how the ninth inning gets underway. Now batting, left fielder. Bernardo Nibar will move into the on-deck circle now to try to get something started here with one gone in the inning. Bernardo Nibar. Them off the eighth pitch of the at bat coming up. Rip down the line, and that's through for a hit. I know this guy isn't known for his hitting prowess, but that's a nice job right there. Getting a single on a 3 2 pitch in the middle of the zone, grab your glove and flash some leather. Into the box now, Phil Lopez into the corner and slicing foul. The next 3-2. This is flared out towards second. 
So this is hauled in by the second baseman. Now batting, first baseman, Mario Digging in, Mario Chassin. He comes to the plate as the last chance for his side. Two out here in the ninth. Nibar is off the of first with two away. Now this crowd right around 35,000 strong on their feet. them down to their final strike here it comes fouled off hey I'm biased to the hitter right now keep frustrating that pitcher foul 12 of these things off he's going to miss over the heart of the plate at some point now a fastball but that's easy to lay off and it's back to even at two and two well I think that pitch is the result of a lot of foul balls he might have tried to do a little bit too much with it trying to get him to swing through it but it just ended up taking off on him two out with the man at first Snap throw to first, and he'll be back in standing up. One strike from a shutout. Here it comes. And we'll see another pitch here as this ball's chopped foul at home plate. He's set. Here's the 2 2. And he'll get to see another one. It'll be the 10th pitch of this at bat. You can visibly see the body language of this guy on the mound is completely changed during this at bat. Six foul balls has to be completely frustrating him that he can't put him away. Now the pitch. Swing and a miss. He struck him out, and that'll do it here as the ball game is over. Well, this one had its moments of drama and excitement. In the end, these guys came away with the victory and look on to the next one. For nothing to score tonight, the U.S. Futures jumped out to an early lead in the first and never looked back. Rico Delgadio is credited with the win. Ray Rivera only completed two innings and is charged with the loss. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa and the lefty Dan Plezak and the rest of our crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. Thanks for watching MLB Network. Here now is our final line score. First for your victorious home team, four runs on nine hits, no errors, the left nine runners on deck. For the visitors, no runs, five hits, no errors, they left six men on deck. Time to the ball game, two hours and 38 minutes. Thank you for joining us here tonight, and we remind you to please drive home safely.